Rohan. 3D mammograms. Now, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but it shouldn't be the only time that we speak about breast cancer. Uh, breast cancer is a killer. 12% of women uh, will develop an invasive breast cancer over their lifetime. Sadly, about 40,000 women in the U.S. are expected to die in 2017 from breast cancer. And a scary statistic is that 85% of women uh, that get breast cancer occur to women that have no family history of breast cancer at all. Now, I visited Montclair Radiology to see their state of the art 3D mammography technology. There I spoke candidly to a woman who actually credits the 3D mammogram for saving her life. Her screening caught two tiny abnormalities way earlier than the traditional 2D mammogram would have uh, and it would have spread rapidly is what her doctors told her. They were very small in size and they were originally diagnosed as stage zero and after my surgery it was uh, diagnosed as stage one. It had leaked out into the ducts. If traditional 2D screenings are basically like a piece of paper, a 3D screening, uh, what I was told, is almost like a book. You can look layer by layer by layer. So it, it's a lot more comprehensive and a lot you see a lot more in there. Basically a 2D mammogram is a single flat picture. Whereas a 3D mammogram, it, is a, it produces thin, multiple thin overlapping slices. Um, so this allows a radiologist to look at the breast in greater detail. It also can clear a woman much faster and more effectively than 2D. What concerns me is that people my age aren't allowed to get mammograms. Their insurance will not pay for people that are 29 years old to get mammograms, and yet breast cancer in women of my age is increasing. The reason they do that is the medical professionals say that the technology is unable to help you at that age. So that's the, the challenge. But Thank th God for something like this. Like You know how I am yeah. about awareness stuff. It drives me crazy. It's about doctors and professionals who are actually adjusting and adapting and inventing new technology. That's the kind of thing that's going to work. And the insurance work. part, what I want to get to really quick, is the technology always comes first. And of course the insurance is gonna lag behind because uh, I talked to Dr. To. Shaw a little bit about that. So when you go in, many insurances do not uh, you know, pay for a 3D mammogram, but a lot of insurances let you pay uh, what Dr. Shaw said was $75 out of pocket to opt up into the 3D mammogram if your center offers it and your insurance can do that. So if you can, I told you the stats, it's a much better way to go. And I think it's uh, you know, an important thing. Thank you.